Um, well, my name is Miranda Young, and they call me the Ghost Biker. I travel around the country to different haunted and historic locations on my motorcycle, highlighting them on my web series, Ghost Biker Explorations. I've been an investigator for 10 years now, and I have been doing uh, Ghost Biker for three. I had found that I was spending a lot of time when I wasn't investigating with the team out on my own, on my motorcycle. If, if I was traveling for work, I would always try to find a different um, supposed haunted or historic location to, to go check out. And if I couldn't find you know one when I was working, I was out on the weekends uh, on my bike taking photos of different unique locations that had an interesting history. So this location is Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary, and I've investigated this location on six different occasions. Uh, it's located in Petros, Tennessee, and it's known as the end of the line. There were a lot of famous inmates there, uh, including uh, George Hyatt, Byron Lotax Looper, and James Earl Ray. Uh, who killed Martin Luther King. Uh, as I said, I've investigated it on six different occasions. This one in particular was a weekend investigation. The first night I actually investigated solo. Um, there were only two other people on the property and those were the folks who, they, they uh, run the paranormal tours there and they were uh, asleep in the main office. Brushy is, is a big complex. Um, it's a prison in the shape of an upside down cross. And with inside of the confines of the prison walls, there's the, um, uh, the, the area that I slept in known as the hole. This is the solitary confinement area. And uh, it was where they put the, the worst of the worst when they misbehave. Something that I like to do when I go to different places, if I have the time, is I actually like to sleep in some of them. And so since this was gonna be a two night investigation, I thought I needed to get some sleep. So I laid down that morning about 8.30 and slept for uh, approximately three and a half hours and I got what I believe to be three minutes and 15 seconds of some of the best class A EVPs that I've recorded in my 10 years of doing this. Um, everything from intelligent to residual activity. In the hall, about 8.30 in the morning, gonna sleep for a little bit.
there is no power or I was I was actually locked in the solitary confinement area so um, no one could have no one could have come in while, while I was in that area there, there weren't any cameras or anything on the outside part of the little building I was in but um, I was locked in I, I would have thought I would have heard someone coming in but there were no cameras or anything you know in that outside area I, I had you know I, I tossed and turned a little bit during uh, those three hours but I was in one of the deepest sleeps I think I've I've ever had and I didn't know if I would be I mean the fact that it was you know dark like that um, probably helped but uh, I guess if I was to to hear this in the moment uh, I don't know that um, I would have had the same reaction. I probably wouldn't have continued sleeping there uh, at that moment, but I really didn't hear anything at all while, uh, while all of that was going on. And, um, you know, it was, I've always enjoyed Brushy just because it, it is such an active location and there are so many different spirits there with so many different stories. You don't, you never get the same thing twice when you go. And that's why I keep going back. Um, every time I'm either able to take and build off of what I've learned or I find a new experience that I'm able to research more and, um, you know, go in and, and investigate and try to check out and learn more about the next time that I'm there. So it's just a very cool location.